In this video, we're going to attempt to solve the generic quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c. As we do this, we're solving for x, so we're going to assume that a, b, and c are really numbers. And so if we were going to solve this equation, we can't factor, so we're going to have to complete the square. The first thing we do to complete the square is we separate the variables from the number. So we're going to subtract c from both sides so that the variable x is all on the left side, ax squared plus bx equals negative c, the number on the right side, negative c. The next thing we do as we set up completing the square is we don't like to have anything in front of the x squared. So we need to get rid of that a by dividing each and every term by a. This gives us x squared plus b over a x equals negative c over a. Now we're ready to complete the square, make it into a perfect square by calculating half of our b, or middle term, which is b over a, actually, and squaring that. Well, half of b multiplying across is b over 2a, and when we square that, we square the numerator and denominator, b squared over 2 squared is 4, a squared. And so we're going to add b squared over 4a squared to both sides. This gives us x squared plus b over ax plus b squared over 4a squared equals well, in order to add these, let me get this stuff out of the way here. Whoops. Move that down. In order to add these together, we need a common denominator. Uh, we can see that's 4a squared. We've already got an a, so we need to multiply by 4a, top and bottom. That gives us negative 4ac over 4a squared plus b squared over 4a squared, and I'm going to put the positive part first. b squared minus 4ac all over the common denominator, which is 4a squared. Starting to look kind of ugly, but the process and pattern is still the same here. Uh, we're looking at the left side. We've designed it so that it's a perfect square. So. The square root of x squared is x, take the sine from the middle, which is plus, and then we take the square root of the last term, one factor at a time, square root of b squared is b, over the square root of 4 is 2, and a squared is a, equals b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. We now have a squared, which we can easily get rid of by taking the square root of both sides. Square and square root are inverses, so we're left with x plus b over 2a equals... With square root, we need plus or minus. And with a fraction, we take the square root of the top and bottom separately. Let's look at the bottom first. That's pretty easy. The square root of 4 is 2, the square root of a squared is a. In the numerator, we can't really simplify that because of the minus in there, so we're left with b squared minus 4ac. And we can finally get the x alone by subtracting b over 2a from both sides. And we're left with x is equal to... We've got a common denominator of 2a. And in the numerator, the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4a. C. What we have is called the quadratic formula. If ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, if we can identify the numbers a, b, and c in any problem, the solution for x will always be the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a a formula that we found by completing the square on the top equation.